Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Cone Health and today's Annie Penn Hospital. So advanced is so close to home. ConeHealth.com. COVID-19 update. Statewide Sunday, 6,811 new cases for a total now of 674,637. Cone Health currently has 247 patients hospitalized with coronavirus. The system is at 80% of its intensive care unit capacity and is projected to exceed capacity by the end of the week. North Carolina has recorded 8,083 deaths so far. Rockingham County, 32. The next drive through vaccination clinic at the Governmental Center in Wentworth is Thursday, 9 to 3, by appointment only. Call 336-394-0064. It's Martin Luther King Day, a federal holiday. Here's what's closed. Offices for all state, county, and local municipalities. The post office, no mail delivery. All banks, NC Department of Motor Vehicles. The stock market is not open. Most businesses, including supermarkets and restaurants, are open today. And I have a shorter version of Rockingham County today. In case you didn't see this story on our Facebook page, here's a condensed report. A fire at 400 Loughton Loop, Madison, single-family dwelling. It started in a downstairs bathroom, and damage was confined to that room. Residents got out safely and called 911. The American Red Cross is assisting the family. And a quick reminder, sometimes breaking news stories are on our Might More Media Facebook page, and don't make it to this program, so it's a good idea to check our Facebook page often for exclusive news content. In entertainment news, Phil Spector, 81, the music producer responsible for some of the biggest hits, has died from COVID-related complications. He was serving up to a life sentence for killing actress Lena Clarkson in 2003. Spectre produced hits for The Beatles, The Righteous Brothers, Ike and Tina Turner, The Ronettes, and many others. From Lane's Family Pharmacy, a quote from Martin Luther King. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And a reminder for countywide prescription delivery, call Lane's Family Pharmacy. 336-627-4600. We appreciate your business. Now, Rockingham County weather, mostly sunny to sunny all this week. No rain in the forecast. High today, 47. Tuesday, 53. Wednesday, 45. Thursday, 49. Friday, 53. For the weekend, sunny. High in the upper 40s. 32 degrees at Shiloh Airport at 6.45 this morning. Get current weather information anytime at MikeMoore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream weather camera, sponsored by heat and air controllers for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Need a tow? Dave's uh, Dave's Towing is a call away 24 hours a day at this number, 336-932-7478. Dave's Towing. Now today's Sports Minute. AutomotiveMap.com presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. NFL Divisional Round playoff action over the weekend on Saturday. The Bills beat the Ravens 17-3, while the Packers up into the Rams 32-18. On Sunday, the Chiefs 22-17 over the Browns, and the Buccaneers beat the Saints 30-20. So the conference championship matchups are set for the NFC title next Sunday. The Packers host the Buccaneers 305 Eastern kickoff. Then at 640 Eastern, the Bills visit Kansas City. Remains to be seen whether or not Chiefs starting quarterback Patrick Mahomes will be able to play. He was knocked out of Sunday game in the third quarter with a possible concussion. After the game, Chiefs coach Andy Reid with an update on Mahomes' status. He's doing great right now, which is a real positive as we looked at this, passed all the deals that he needed to pass. This update brought to you by the Score app. Download the free Score app today. It's one of the most popular sports apps in North America. 
That's the Sports Flash, Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media. A quick reminder, Annette and I have our weekly podcast this morning. That's live at 11 every Monday on Facebook, Mike Moore Media. Call in. Be part of the conversation, 336-932-1881, our regular number for Mike Moore Media. And when you listen, be sure to play the live stream. Again, that's more or less live at 11 this morning, every Monday. From Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden, a couple of quotes from Martin Luther King. First, the time is always right to do what's right. And here's another. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Now, today's Consumer Report. Record low interest rates are resulting in a huge spike in homeowners refinancing their mortgage. The Mortgage Bankers Association reports a 20% increase in refinancing applications so far this month. The average mortgage rate has fallen to 2.86%. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention will soon require all airline passengers entering the U.S. to test negative for the coronavirus before getting on a plane. The rule takes effect January 26th. The CDC said it's taking this step to stem the rising cases of the virus in the U.S. It's a sign of the times. Costco has announced it's shutting down all of its photo centers on February 14th. In an email to customers, the company cited the continued decline of prints brought on by the widespread use of high-quality cameras on smartphones and consumers' use of social media. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. We will take a moment to look at Today in History, January 18th, 1778. English navigator Captain James Cook discovered the Sandwich Islands later renamed, you probably know, the Hawaiian Islands. 1896, the X-ray machine was exhibited for the first time. And in North Carolina, this is interesting, Siamese twins Chang and Ng Bunker died at their home in Surrey County. Between them, literally and figuratively, they fathered 22 children. That was 1874. Chang died from a blood clot to his brain, Ing, doctors believed, died from fright. A couple of things to celebrate today. It's National Winnie the Pooh Day, and it's National Peking Duck Day. I believe, I believe Annette's preparing Peking Duck for supper this evening. Hmm. Sure, yeah, and Winnie the Pooh will be joining us. <laughs> Big name birthdays today, Kevin Costner, 66, Christy Lee Cook, 37, Julius Peppers, 41. And now, the Birthday Club. And I tell you, uh, kind of slim pickings here. One birthday to mention for the 18th, no one for the 17th, Sarah Bruce, 40 today. Sarah Bruce, happy birthday to her. I think all of our birthdays are for... Um, Uh, Later this week and next week, we are loaded down with birthdays from all around our listening area. Still have room for you to phone in if you or someone you know has a birthday. Use that number, 336-932-1881. On Monday, I have Sunday and Monday birthdays. Then I've got you covered all through the week. And then on Friday, Friday and Saturday birthdays. And then I have a drawing on Friday with all of the names, all seven days, Sunday through Saturday. And in that random drawing, a winner and our winning person on the birthday club gets a really nice prize package. It's now valued at uh, right at $75 from Vernon Family Dairy, a carton of Homestead Ice Cream, your choice of flavor, Carolina Fuels, $10 worth of gas, That little pork shop, enjoy a pork sandwich, french fries, and iced tea. Ingrid's Cupcakes and Confections, oh my goodness, a half dozen cupcakes. And from Pizza Hut, a $10 gift certificate. And adding this week from AK Emporium in Uptown Eden, a handmade family birthdays wall plaque. 
This is very nice. It makes it easy to see all of your family's birthdays all year. That's a $20 value. These businesses in Eden certainly appreciate them participating in the birthday club. So get those names in. I don't want to miss any one. Again, that's 336-932-1881. You can text those birthdays anytime, day or night. And I'll uh, hang on to Sarah's name, and we'll have her in that drawing on Friday. Let's finish with our motivational moment. And another quote today from Martin Luther King. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be a sun, be a star. For it isn't by size that you win or fail. Be the best of whatever you are. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good Monday. Good start to the week, friends. And remember to count your blessings.